I'm determined to get something better. I have been signed up for the housing lottery for years. I spent a good portion of my time applying for apartments on my own. It's the same old story most of the time I apply. Oh, pardon me. Take your time. Here you go. Here you go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nothing but time. Rome wasn't built in the day. That's right. I find an apartment like, and I call and confirm it is available. Brokers are always excited to talk to me and tell me how great it would be to live there until, until I tell them I have a voucher. All right, all right. Then they are looking for any excuse to get off the phone. A few days later, I have an email saying the apartment has been taken. It is a wildly frustrating situation after well over 50 applications like this. I have to work to stay motivated to keep applying because the constant bait and switch, the constant rejection wears on your soul. While I'm still in the shelter with local New York, I worked on a study that used max tear testing to see how common sources of income discrimination really is. We call the landlord with a script and record every time we are discriminated against as voucher holders. We did look what we learned and create recommendations on for how to address the problem. One of our major demands was that someone assemble a list of the most discriminating landlords in the city and publish every year. We saw how the worst landlord list that the public advocate produced was affected and embarrassing these bad acting landlords and we want them to feel that kind of shame for how they are treating us. I'm so grateful to a lot New York for the work they have done to shine light on this issue and make sure that everyone knows that the companies on this list are the reason that tens of thousands of New Yorkers have remained trapped in the shelters for years. I thank you. Discriminators, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Discriminators, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Home the race are record high. That's so high. It's the reason why. Home the race are record high. That's so high. It's the reason why. Home the race are record high. That's so high. It's the reason why. Home the race are record high. That's so high. It's the reason why. of income discrimination against homeless New Yorkers trying to access permanent housing with vouchers is morally and legally wrong, and it will not be tolerated in New York City. My name is Bennett Reinhardt, and I'm the advocacy coordinator for the Open Hearts Initiative. We're a neighborhood organization that advocates for solutions to homelessness by welcoming and supporting homeless neighbors in our own backyards. I represent hundreds of supportive New Yorkers from across the city who 
welcome and support their neighbors. From the Upper West Side to the West Village, from Hell's Kitchen to Brooklyn, our members believe that homeless New Yorkers belong in their neighborhoods, and they have welcomed shelters, supportive services, and permanent affordable housing to their own areas. And our members have reached out and gotten to know shelter residents who have become their neighbors and friends, and who are all too often about the struggle that accompanies the journey from shelter to permanent housing. It's a long journey and a complicated one. Thankfully, uh, it can now start on the first day of someone's time in the shelter system. And let's not uh, forget why that is, because the advocacy of everyone here. But even so, once someone has received a city FEPS voucher and has received their shopping letter, the barriers to apartments are many. Vacancy rates remain incredibly low, putting us in a housing emergency. Rents continue to rise in many parts of the city beyond the payment standards. But even when all these other massive barriers are overcome, voucher holders still face source of income discrimination when landlords and brokers turn them away, deny them housing, tell them the apartment has already been rented, ghost them, invent or enforce non-applicable income and credit requirements, throw in a prohibitive application fee. Forms of source of income discrimination are as many as there are discriminators in New York City. And that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. 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 So I'm here in solidarity with others who have, those who have undergone this kind of discrimination that has kept them homeless for longer for no reason. We know that voucher holders are just as worthy of permanent housing as anyone who's paying for an apartment in cash. And we demand that voucher holders be treated with the same dignity and respect as all tenants on the private market. That's right. That's right. And let's also be clear, it is in everyone's interest to end source of income discrimination and help voucher holders access permanent housing. We are a stronger and safer city, a stronger, safer, and healthier city when everybody has what they need, which includes first and foremost, permanent housing with dignity. So we are putting landlords and brokers who would discriminate against voucher holders on notice. Source of income discrimination is against the law. It is against the values that we hold dear as a city where everyone is welcome and everyone belongs. And if you still choose to discriminate against voucher holders, you will be held accountable. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, Bennett. Thank you so much and your organization for this book, Advocacy and Fire Source and Income Discrimination. Next, we have the chair committee of Civil and Human Rights, Council Member Natasha Williams. Hey. Hey.
cheese. Right. So I'm right. looking forward that to this right. next budget. It's not right. Nope. So I'm looking forward to this next budget fight. I am a fast and steady advocate for social income discrimination. Yes. And I look forward to working with all the people here. And I want to thank you for creating this list and bringing more transparency and accountability to people who are discriminatory at every turn. Thank you so much. Amazing coalition. Housing is a god.